Hello everyone, welcome back, CSI fans. Today, we're taking a nostalgic journey back to 2002 when CSI Miami first hit our screens. Join us as we revisit the iconic main cast and see how they've transformed since their days solving crimes in the Sunshine State. So, grab your sunglasses and join us on this trip down memory lane as we celebrate the incredible legacy of CSI Miami and its unforgettable cast. Don't forget to hit subscribe for more updates on your favorite stars. Let's dive in. Emily Proctor began her acting career with roles in television commercials before landing her first television role on the soap opera The Bold and the Beautiful. She later appeared in guest roles on shows like Friends and The West Wing. Proctor gained widespread recognition for her role as Ainsley Hayes on The West Wing before joining the cast of CSI Miami. In the series, Proctor portrayed Callie Duquesne, a skilled ballistics expert with a passion for her work. Duquesne's meticulous attention to detail and dedication to justice made her an invaluable member of the team. Adam Rodriguez began his acting career with roles in commercials and music videos before transitioning to television and film. He gained recognition for his role as Eric Delco on CSI Miami. Before joining the cast of the series, Rodriguez appeared in shows like Brooklyn South and Roswell. His portrayal of Eric Delco, a bilingual Cuban-American forensic analyst, garnered him a loyal fan base. Delco's expertise in underwater recovery and his unwavering commitment to his colleagues made him an integral part of the team. Jonathan Togo began his acting career with roles in theater before transitioning to television and film. He appeared in shows like Judging Amy and Special Unit 2 before joining the cast of CSI Miami. In the series, Togo portrayed Ryan Wolf, a skilled DNA analyst and later a detective with the Miami Dade Police Department. Wolf's intelligence and determination to prove himself among his peers made him a compelling character as he navigated the challenges of working alongside seasoned investigators. Condi Alexander began her acting career in the late 1980s, appearing in various television shows and films. She gained recognition for her role as Dr. Alex Woods on LCSI Miami. Before joining the series, Alexander had notable roles in shows like DR and News Radio, as well as in films such as Menace to Society and Poetic Justice. As Dr. Alex Woods, the compassionate and meticulous medical examiner, Alexander's character provided crucial insights into the victim's causes of death, often aiding in the team's investigations. Her departure from the series in later seasons left a lasting impact on both the characters and viewers. Rex Lynn had a prolific career before joining CSI Miami, with numerous film and television credits to his name. He appeared in films like Cliffhanger and Tin Cup and had recurring roles on TV shows such as Jag and The Fugitive. In CSI Miami, Lynn portrayed Detective Frank Tripp, a seasoned investigator with a no-nonsense attitude and a sharp eye for detail. Tripp's street smarts and dedication to his job made him an invaluable asset to the team, often providing crucial insights that helped solve complex cases. Eva LaRue had a successful career in television before joining the cast of CSI Miami. She gained recognition for her role as Dr. Maria Santos Gray on the soap opera All My Children, for which she earned two Daytime Emmy Award nominations. LaRue also appeared in shows like Third Watch and Soul Food. In CSI Miami, she portrayed Natalia Boa Vista a skilled CSI and DNA analyst known for her intelligence and tenacity. Boa Vista's expertise in forensic science and her ability to unravel complex mysteries made her an invaluable member of the team. Sofia Milos had a diverse career in film and television before joining the cast of CSI Miami. She appeared in movies such as The Ladies' Man and Passion Ada, and had recurring roles on TV shows like The Sopranos and DR. In CSI Miami, Milos portrayed Yelena Salas, 
Horatio Kane's sister-in-law and a former detective with the Miami-Dade Police Department. Salas' complicated relationship with Kane added depth to both characters and provided intriguing storylines throughout the series. Rory Cochran established himself as a talented actor with roles in acclaimed films like Dazed and Confused and Empire Records. Before joining CSI Miami, Cochran had a diverse career in both film and television. In CSI Miami, he portrayed Tim Speedle, a skilled firearms and ballistics expert known for his sharp wit and dedication to solving crimes. Speedle's tragic death in the line of duty during the series' third season had a profound impact on the team and served as a pivotal moment in the show's storyline. Omar Benson Miller began his acting career with roles in films such as Eight Mile and Shall We Dance. He gained recognition for his performances in movies like Miracle at St. Anna and The Express, The Ernie Davis Story. In addition to his film work, Miller appeared in television shows like Ballers and Eleventh Hour. In CSI, Miami, he portrayed Walter Simmons, a Louisiana native and skilled CSI with expertise in underwater recovery. Simmons' laid-back demeanor and southern charm added a fresh dynamic to the team, and his dedication to solving cases made him a valuable asset to the Miami-Dade Crime Lab. David Caruso began his acting career in the early 1980s, appearing in a variety of television shows and films. He gained widespread recognition for his portrayal of Detective John Kelly on the hit TV series, NYPD Blue, in the 1990s, which earned him a Golden Globe Award. Caruso's film credits include roles in First Blood, An Officer and a Gentleman, and Kiss of Death. In CSI, Miami, Caruso played the role of Horatio Kane, the enigmatic head of the Miami-Dade Crime Lab known for his distinctive sunglasses and intense demeanor. Kane was a dedicated forensic analyst who often led the team in solving complex cases. Bodie Bliss began her acting career with roles in independent films before transitioning to television. She appeared in shows like NYPD Blue and Angel before joining the cast of CSI Miami. In the series, Bliss portrayed Maxine Valera, a DNA analyst with the Miami-Dade Crime Lab. Valera's meticulous attention to detail and dedication to her work often provided crucial evidence in solving cases, earning her the respect of her colleagues. Alana de la Garza began her acting career with roles in television shows like All My Children and Charmed. She gained recognition for her role as ADA Connie Ruberosa on the long-running series Law and Order. In CSI, Miami, de la Garza portrayed Marisol Delco, the sister of Eric Delco. Marisol's compassionate nature and her relationship with Eric added depth to both characters and provided emotional storylines throughout the series. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe for more contents like this.